Hi, my loves. It is such a beautiful, gorgeous day here, but it's been so, so hot it's in the 90s today. And so I feel headachy, like I'm on my menstruation and I'm feeling botherable. And I just kind of started to date online this week for the first time in 14 months. I've been single for 14 months and completely single. <laughs> And, um, but I'm in love with um, one of my best friends who I, I've been in love with for about three years. So stepping into the dating game has been really interesting. And I've managed to sabotage two new connections in one week. Because <laughs> I just feel so not ready and my heart feels closed. So hi, Mary. Good to see you, Mama. So I'm gonna call on the angels and see what they have to say about all of this, about the botherability and the headache and the heat and my heart being closed and all the things and hopefully they'll speak to you. Of course they will. All right, here we go. Hi love, good to see you. Creator of all things, thank you so much for your light and your love, thank you for this ability just to be human and just to bear witness to uh, my own humanity and to be really vulnerable and, and clear about that and have that distinguishment about who I really am and what my human experience is. Creator, I command to be connected to the angels that are the highest vibration, that are in alignment with the creator's vibration that are in alignment with the, the truest versions of who and what each of us watching are for the highest and best good of all loving beings, of all beings, and in the highest and best way, and only in the highest and best way, and for the highest and best good. Thank you, Creator. It is done. It is done. It is done. Why are you wanting to be with us? We are always where you are. We are where you are, wherever you are, whenever you are, wherever you are. Your heart feels so sad. You are wanting to cry. You are asking us why this person you are so attached to, doesn't want to attach to you, and we are wanting you to know there is no way he is wanting to attach to anyone, and that is what he has decided. You are not wanting to open your heart to anyone else because you are wanting to save yourself for one person. We understand because you are asking everyone to save themselves for you, but they are not saving themselves for you. They are keeping their energy open so that they can find you. And yet here you are closing your energy not to be found in order to save yourself with someone who cannot find you unless you open yourself. Whenever you are ready, your perfect match will arrive. It is not the person you are thinking it is. And he will be where you are very soon. It is not the other person you are thinking of. No. It is not anyone you already know. But whenever you are ready, meaning whenever you are ready to detach yourself from your attachment, you will have an experience of a love that is everything you have created. And it will be just as you've already known it will be. This is for each of you. This is for each of you listening. You are, wherever you are, whenever you are, wherever you are, able to connect with every aspect of what you have called in, no matter what it is. No matter how far away it feels, 
you are able to call in every aspect of everything you have ever called in right now right now right now Rachel is experiencing a pain in her head yes also a pain in her heart but a pain in her head she is asking us to help her we are going to help she is feeling better already she is second guessing that she is feeling better and that is what you have been doing you have been second guessing whether you have been feeling better. You have been second guessing any progress that you have experienced. You only want to believe that you have made progress. Whenever you have made progress, you are wanting to second guess it. Rachel is asking us how to navigate this feeling of doubt and second guessing. We will guide you. You can repeat after us. I release that I am wanting to sabotage my cure. I release that I am wanting to sabotage myself. I release that I am someone who sabotages myself and my own cure. I release that I am someone who sabotages everything in my experience. It is not who you are that matters. It is not what you are that matters. It is that you are who you are, that you are what you are. Isn't that interesting? Far from the truth is whatever pain you are experiencing, whatever doubt you are experiencing, whatever sabotage and feeling of a closed heart you are experiencing, far from the truth. Because in reality, each of you are ready. Each of you are ready. You are already there. It is only a matter of your changing your mind. You can repeat after us. I am already there. I am already there. Imagine what it feels like to be already there. Yes. You are feeling botherable. You are feeling like it is normal for you as you are on your menstruation. But it does not have to be normal. It is a space for you to really feel what you are feeling and have an excuse to feel everything you are feeling so deeply. But you are not having to experience this at this time or ever. Your feeling of botherability is your feeling of wanting to get away from yourself. Yes, it is that you are wanting to get away from yourself. When you are being bothered by everyone around you, it is because you are wanting to get away from yourself. When in reality, your soul is calling you towards it, saying, come hither. When you are ready to say what you are wanting to say, we will answer.
Yes, you are asking us whether you are identifying as someone who is a botherable person. Yes and no. You have done a lot of work around that, but there is still a little bit more. Each of you who are listening are wanting to know as well. You can repeat after us. I release that I am a botherable person, that I'm easily bothered, that I'm easily bothered by myself, and that I'm wanting to get away from myself. I release the energy of wanting to be somewhere I am not. I release that I am someone who is wanting to be where I am not. I release that it is wrong to want to be where I am not. I release that it is wrong to want to be where I am. It is not wrong for you to want anything. This is what we are wanting to express. It is not wrong for you to want anything you are wanting. It is not wrong for you to want the cure to your disease, to want the cure to your experience of yourself. Because the cure is always the same. The cure is always to connect with every part of what you are and who you are. The cure for everything is to follow your soul source, your sacred guidance. Yes, to follow your joy. Every part of you is wanting to believe that is true, and yet so many parts of you do not. You can repeat after us, and then we will get off of the Facebook with you. I release that I am needing to be very, 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 very happy all the time. I release that this means something about me. I release that I'm the only one that doesn't feel very, 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 very happy all the time. I release that I'm the only one that doesn't have every, 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 every aspect of what I've ever wanted completely manifested in this reality. You are all so perfect. And yet you feel without your stuff that you are not. It is your willingness to believe you are perfect even without your experience of stuff. Yes, we are including your healed body. Your willingness to believe you are perfect even without your stuff. That is all that is ever needed. Your connection with who and what you are. And your willingness to believe you are everything. We are loving you. We have always loved you. We will always love you wherever you are, whenever you are. We are wherever you are, whenever you are, wherever you are. And we are always, every time, loving you. There is so much joy wherever you are. And why wouldn't we want to be where you are? We are loving you. We have always loved you. We will always love you. We will speak to you everywhere you are. Are. 
Hi loves, thank you so much for being here and thank you for connecting to the angels with, with me and bringing in such a beautiful transmission. Um, wow, I haven't fully integrated all that because I was just stepping aside, so I'm looking forward to, um, thank you love, thank you Mary, I'm looking forward to listening to the transmission back and um, receiving more as well. I love you so much. Remember this Sunday is our official Zoom session of the Angel Dialogues every third Sunday of the month and you can sign up with me. Just DM me and I'll send you a link. I love you so much. Have a beautiful day. Mwah.